Hello, uh, so here we are in Johor, we're near the more central part, we're near KSL Mall and um, for every new mall in Johor there's still an old one and we're going to go and see one of the older ones um, and it's one that still survives. Um, I'm gonna, I haven't been there for a while so there might be a few empty places, I'm sure there will be, but it seems to hang on with its own sort of blend of uh, shops and it survives and it's called Holiday Plaza. So this is the area that it's in. This is the area it's in and this, brightly coloured but hardly ever trendy, mall is where we're going. So let's go and have a look inside. So this part of Johor seems to be a favourite with Singaporeans. They come and they stay at the hotel at KSL, they go shopping at KSL and also Holiday Plaza is a favourite. Singaporeans, because Singaporeans like a bargain. We'll start at the bottom. So this area has got the Mutaraya Hotel over there, which is a nice hotel, there's good food, good buffet. Up over there you can see Paragon Hotel. And this one, I can't remember the name of it, it's something like Holiday Village or something. Holiday Villa, there you go. Um, inside of there you've got a place called K-Fry, check out my video on that fabulous place to eat, if you like Korean chicken. So let's go and have a look. Just have a general walk around. There's your phone shops. DVD shops. Let's see what the rates are today. I want to come and do your spending here. I guess it goes off in all different directions. So we'll go off in a, this direction this time. So one thing that Malaysians and Singaporeans like is a good massage. Oh, that smells lovely. The oils they use in some of these massage places, that smells absolutely beautiful. And you might think with so many massage places that they wouldn't be busy. But they are all busy. Just had a hard week of work, you just want to come and spend a few hours in town get a nice massage, get something to eat, and it's kind of perfect. There's a lot more to this place going down that corridor on each floor, like twice as big as we are now, but we're going to decide first. And this is where we can see a lot more empty places. Hey, you can't always make the vlogs you want to make, naked lady. Woohoo! Actually, very nice colours. I like the black one. Um, you can't always make, I mean you can always make the vlogs you want, but if I did that then I wouldn't get any views, so I'd make the vlogs that the people want. And in this area, Malaysia, Singapore, they like shopping malls. Especially the Singaporeans, they want to see what's happening in Johor. And uh, all right, I don't even know what's going on here. There you go. Nice sparkly things over there. Oh dear, that lady's had an accident. Got hit in the head. I'm doing these vlogs because I feel like Malaysia isn't great at marketing itself. I and mean, if I could do anything in a little way that shows people that there's nothing bad going on here. Oh, look at this. I don't know. Never been up here. I mean, up here, here. So this is Restaurant Plaza Garden Dance Terrace. But I would say looking at it, Probably hasn't been used for a long time. That's it. Oh, that looks a bit knacked. And those buildings you see over there, I think, that's the tallest buildings in this part of Asia. 
Right, so now we're going into the other side. Lots of hair and beauty places, lots of nail places. It's kind of funny, the obsession with malls, until you kind of think about, you know, in the UK, or many other countries, we have seasons, you know? Summer, winter, autumn, whatever. And you'll tend to go out and you're not aiming just to spend the day at a mall because you want to look around places. You know, somewhere like Cheddar, you want to walk around the gorge, have a look around, look at the countryside. Come to somewhere like Malaysia, you can't walk around that long before it gets too hot. You sometimes need to Sometimes need to just like relax, sit down, get out the heat. And that's the thing, you get out the heat. So, you know, the moles offer an opportunity to get away from all that heat, get your hair done, like this place here, get some tattoos, get some food, get your massage, and do a bit of shopping. But I reckon, actually, compared to the last time I was here, I think if anything, it's got more and it's a rather than less, and as you can see, it's huge. We're still going through. God, I'm waffling a lot today. Uh, here's your massage, so get an idea of the prices. So you can have a traditional Thai massage for a 90 ringgit. That's about 17 pounds for an hour, 68 ringgit. It's probably no more than a tenner. So this just goes to show, you know, for all the new malls, the problem with new malls, often, you know, they attract the people, but they also attract massive rents. You know, if you're a smaller business or just a startup, somewhere like this is perfect, because this place has good footfall. It always has, it's always been fairly busy. So we're on the top floor, we're gonna start heading downwards now. And we're gonna walk all the way along through. So there's also a lot of, also a lot of, um, I think this might be a place that uh, young ladies of a certain kind come to buy their outfits. Also, it has this. Parkson is a department store. Uh, funny thing, it's okay. Funny thing is, I always forget that it's here, but it's a, it's a massive department store covering all the floors. Um, can't go wrong with that. Pretty much anything you need, so. No, that's the other kind of thing, you're coming somewhere, you want everything. So lots of, you can say fashion, lots of clothing stores. One thing that this place actually could really do with, which would be really kind of cool, is some real sort of startup fashion companies. I think it's that kind of, Malaysia is kind of a young, Johor is kind of a young place. There's people doing local fashion, it's like really trendy hip shit, rather than just all the same old Chinese or Indian or whatever it is made stuff. I think they do well, brand their own stuff. There's another thing that's very popular. Asians like their gold. They like to buy, especially their ties. The ties like to buy gold. It's almost like they can keep it under the bed or something, I don't know, but they like their gold. Alright, so we've got a long way to go. I mean, this place is huge. Lots of hairdresser supply companies here. Nails and you know, each, I think the thing is, there's different kinds of malls. There's the, there's the mall that has everything, but they have to be kind of modern and clean and fresh. And then there's the mall that has their niches. And I think this is, Holiday Plaza has its niches. The people that come here know what they're coming here for. And uh, that's kind of how it stands out. So that's the other side that we've already done. we we'll carry on down. I don't want to do all of this up here. I'm still on the search for 
DVDs and I've only really seen one DVD place. Now, I think it's fairly plain to see that Holiday Plaza is alive and well and definitely thriving. Well, I'd say it's definitely thriving. Uh -huh. We have DVDs, yes. And you've got to be on camera and you've got to be like, do it. Yeah. Hit that like and subscribe button. Absolutely. Silver Fox. <laughs>